This is tutorial 4-2 in the GIS Tutorial 1 workbook for ArcGIS 10.3.x. I'm on page 149 and this is titled using Arc Catalog Utilities and I thought I could just do Arc Catalog from over here and uh, for some of the stuff in this next tutorial I'm actually going to have to start up the Arc Catalog program so let's just go over here to our start button and let's go to Arc GIS and there's Arc Catalog right there so we'll fire that up and I think I'll maximize it and um, so we have Maricopa County here and then we can it looks like maybe these did get pulled in in spite of the error message um, so if necessary click chapter 4 uh, GDB and oh I'm in the wrong place here uh, that's why those are there uh, that's where I imported them from uh, I want to be in uh, my exercises chapter 4 and chapter 4 GDB okay there it is so um, in the right panel um, click the uh, COU SUB uh, county subdivisions maybe and click on preview and there is a preview of the subdivisions of Maricopa County which is the county that Phoenix Arizona is in um, at the bottom of the preview window select table as the preview so right now it says geography but we can also choose a table and that will give us some data about it and it looks like we have nine polygons there and um, some data about each one uh, number four says uh, click the description tab here's the description tab and now let's uh well that's interesting um is that the biggest i can get it uh let's try that let's try that there we go okay so now it's occupying the whole screen and um it previews the map layers metadata which is data about data in a report format so here is some information uh about that particular data file okay um and so it says uh, county subdivision uh, some other uh, tags for it um, and uh, we're going to kind of skip over the rest of this uh, now it says click the contents tab here's the contents tab and now let's go to page 150 and it says your turn uh, preview the tract file so um, let's go to let's go back to chapter 4 GDB and there is the tract file it's right click on, or actually just click on it and go to preview and so this shows the tracks which are looks like subdivisions of uh, the other map that we had and uh, let's uh, go back to chapter 4 GDB over here on the left and click on census data and here we have uh, a bunch of census information about uh, all of those uh, tracks that are visible in that second shapefile okay so now we're on the top of page 150 rename feature layers in the left panel under chapter 4 GDB um, right click the COU SUB file and choose rename and we're going to rename it cities and well let me see um, And I close this window over here. Um, doesn't look like I can. And I think I know what the problem is. I'm going to minimize this for a minute. And I'm going to go, see I've got it open in this other program over here too. So I'm going to close this and close that. And let's see if that unlocks it for us. Now let's go back over here to, uh, not Arc Map, but Arc Catalog and now let's try to right click on it and choose rename again and we'll see if this one works cities 
whoops, only one eye there. And hit enter. And we've still got a lock on that file. And I'm not sure why we have a lock on that file. So I am going to just leave it for now. And maybe we will try it again later. Uh, let me check here and see. Uh, it doesn't look like... I'll go over here and I will actually close this uh, arc map. And there's nothing in it, so I don't need to worry about saving anything. And now let's try this one more time. Let's try right-clicking and choosing Rename. And let's try Cities and enter and okay so the other program was locking the file and that's why i had a problem and um this one um name the census data to be census tracked data so that would be this one so let's right click on it and choose rename and we want the word tracked in between census and data and hit enter okay. and uh, then now we're on copy and delete feature layers uh, in the left panel under chapter 4 gdb right click cities copy and paste so i'm going to right click and i'm going to do copy and then i'm going to um, let me see And let's try right-clicking and doing a paste. And we're going to click on OK. And so it called it Cities 1. And then we're going to delete it. So just right-click on it and choose Delete. And yes, we want to delete it because we only need one copy of Cities. And that's how you copy and delete features. OK. And now we're on the top of page 151 and uh, compress a file geodatabase. In the left panel of our catalog, right click Chapter 4 and click Administration and Compress. So uh, so there's our Chapter 4 geodatabase. Go to Administration and click on Compress File Geodatabase and click on Click on OK. So, click um, on OK. And so it's applying some kind of compression algorithm to that to make the file smaller. And it says use a computer window to check the size of your Chapter 4 GDB folder. Very that the, uh, verify that the uncompressed file is about 1 megabyte on your disk, around 50 files, uh, and about a 40% reduction in size. Well, I didn't look at its size beforehand, so I don't really know for sure. But let's go here and let's uh, open up this and let's go to our um, C drive. And let's go to uh, S Repress and JST1. And we want to go to uh, My Exercises and Chapter 4. And uh, can we right click on this and get the. Uh, properties and does it give us the size for folder it does and it says so it's less than a megabyte uh, it's 814k of actual data uh, but it actually takes up 940k on the disk so we've got some wasted space but there's nothing you can do about that so click on ok and we can close this and now we're back in arc catalog and uh, now we want to go back and uncompress it okay well right click and go to administration and choose uncompress and that's the one we want click on OK and now I think what I'll do is I didn't check this before I compressed but now that we've uncompressed again I can go here and go to the C drive, S repress, JST1, my exercises, chapter 4 and if I right click on this and choose properties uh, it is about one and a half uh, megabytes. Okay, click on OK and close out of here. And okay, now it wants us to open up uh, under your turn. It wants us to open up. Um, 
a new map document and call it tutorial 4-3. So we're done with ARC catalogs. We can close it. And now I want to open up ArcGIS. Okay. And um, we just want a blank map. Uh, we have an option for a blank map here. Uh, let's do browse for more. And actually, let's just cancel and cancel. And now we've got a blank map. And so we want to create a new map document called Tutorial 4-3 with relative paths stored in the Chapter 4 folder of my exercises. Add the two layers and table from the GDB and symbolize them as below. So uh, we need to uh, add some data here. And we need uh, these uh, three files. Whoops, that is not where we want them from. Uh, that's where we got them from originally. We want to go to My Exercises and Chapter 4 and the Chapter 4 GDB. And then we want to select all three of those and click on Add. And then it looks like we want um, heavy lines for, and we want uh, relative paths. Uh, let's go to File. And um, I think that is map document properties. And we want relative paths. Click on OK. And so I think that should take care of relative paths for us. And now we want uh, the cities uh, on the bottom. So let's take cities and drag it down. I uh, can't drag it down. Let's try take this. And uh, we can't do that either. Um, List by drawing order. Now let's try it. Uh, let's take cities and drag it down. And uh, so it looks like everything is hollow here and we've got thicker lines for the city. So uh, let's click on this and tell it we want, uh, let's try two for our lines and we'll make them uh, black. And we also want it to be hollow. Uh, and then it changed this back again. Um, Okay, so hollow, and we should be able to click on OK. And then we're going to take the other ones, and those lines look like they're a little bit uh, heavier too. So let's go to our tracks. And I must have missed the part where they said to, uh, I did miss the part. We want to rename this. Um, so let's do a rename here. Um, where is rename? Um, well, let's do it the easy way. Click on it a second time and just call it tracks. Type tracks right on top of it and hit enter. And uh, then we need to do symbology for this one. And we're going to make this one hollow as well. And But we're going to make uh, the width of the line 1. And the outline color for this, it looks like they used a shade of blue. So let's do our outline color. And we'll pick kind of a dark blue and click on OK. And um, there we have it. Um, cities is supposed to be black. It kind of looks blue to me now. But uh, actually, let's just turn tracks off and see what it looks like. And oh, now it looks black. So it, this stuff kind of must be an optical illusion. Um, so now we're on, done with page 151, and that is the end of tutorial 4-2.